it's 2023 and Minecraft Let's Plays are looking a bit different than they did a few years ago. They're big, they're flashy, they're fast. And have you noticed how every big Minecraft YouTuber has become like a master of editing? Like what the heck? We used to click on a video just to watch someone play a game almost as we would. And now that gameplay has text, images, it moves around, and sometimes it just disappears entirely. Now, I love this stuff. I love making crazy edits. It's fun. But what I don't like is that this state of Minecraft content is discouraging to a lot of people. Or at least there's a lot of people that think Minecraft content has to be this way. And that it affects creators of all sizes. Some long-term creators think that this new genre is negatively affecting their channels, and a lot of aspiring creators are afraid to post anything because they think they don't have the editing skills to compete today. I've had a lot of people in comments, Twitch chats, and Discord messages make statements to me along the lines of, I want to start a Minecraft Let's Play, but I can't edit. And I want to find out if any of that actually makes a difference. So today, I'm going to go undercover in the Minecraft YouTube sphere and perform a bit of an experiment to answer a few questions. How hard is it to start a Minecraft Let's Play in 2023? What does the typical Minecraft audience look for in a Let's Play? And do the edits really make as big of a difference as we all think? Here's how I'm going to do it. I'm going to record a new Minecraft Let's Play. Start the game off by punching wood and get as far as building a starter house. Pretty typical stuff, showing me spawning in and taking the audience through the progress. But I'm going to take that footage, however much it is, and edit it into two different types of videos. One is going to be the old school Let's Play style with minimal edits and showing almost all of the progress. And the other is going to be the new school high energy, high edit attention grabber style, to the best of my ability at least. And with these two videos, I'm gonna launch two separate YouTube channels, post both videos at the same time, and see if one actually outperforms the other. Now for me to pull this experiment off as fairly as possible, I had to do it without my main channel affecting the results, which means I kinda had to go in disguise. It's not like my name on YouTube is massive, but there's a non-zero chance that somebody who has already subscribed to me may stumble across the video, and if they see me in the thumbnail, they're probably more likely to click on it, and I need to avoid that. Because if somebody figures it out and starts asking questions, spreading the word, the results are gonna be poisoned. So, I had to find a new Minecraft skin, and I just wanted something basic. Ooh. Very basic. Shout out to this artist Yemen for making this festive Steve skin, cause it came in clutch. I wanted to make it a bit more of my own, so I changed the pants, changed the hair, got rid of the hat, and bam, I was ready to record. And this process is pretty easy for me to explain, because I do it the same as I have been since day one. I wing it. I loaded up a new Minecraft survival world, changing only one setting, world type from default to large biome, which totally backfired on me. Because while I was just looking for an easy recording, I got a spawn unlike any other I've ever had. Uh, this is gonna be interesting to play. But I played it out anyway, and it actually didn't take long for things to turn around for me. Oh, thanks to the large biomes though, I did have to boat a while. And of course, the first land I found didn't help me out much either. Oh my gosh. Well, the only problem is that there's not gonna be any trees on this island. I need to find more land somewhere. But 50 minutes into the session, I was finally in a biome where I could chop a tree. That's gotta be a world record of some kind, right? Longest it's ever taken to find a tree. I might, I might have to look into that. After that though, I was actually able to make some progress. I found a place to settle down, did some caving, did some farming, and like any Let's Play, I had some moments of good luck. Wait, no way! No way! A skeleton spawner, that's the best one you can get too. Oh, and I also had some moments without it. <laughs> After a few days of playing though, I was able to make my starter house, and I didn't want to do anything too crazy. I just wanted to have a place where I could have my bed, my storage, any tools I needed just so that I could say, hey, this is a good stopping point for an episode. But I also had to make sure the outside was good enough for a decent thumbnail. And as soon as I placed my final decorations, I was at the end of recording, ready to set up the experiment. This actually worked out to be simpler than I expected because the way I edit my videos currently is actually by starting with an old school episode, just cutting up all the footage of all the progress. So obviously, that's what I started with. I cut up all my footage and spliced it together so that it was steady pace, but not too fast. Even though old school episodes are very minimalistic, pacing is still very important to nail. 
And so I exported that and used it as a starting point for my new style episode. I started out by writing a storyboard and figuring out what parts of the episode were the most important. And then with that, since the new style episodes are all about covering a lot of ground in a short period of time, I cut out everything else that just wasn't necessary, maintaining only the relevant bits. I stitched the big chunks together with a script I wrote to go over everything. But after I added my usual effects and music, I had two very different videos. Let's see if you can tell which one is which. This is not a good time to have set my mode to large biome. Well, welcome to the first episode of my Let's Play. So the other day, I decided like many other players who have gotten burnt out on their current projects to start a new Minecraft world. I set it up normally like I've done many times before, other than switching to large biomes just because, well, I want to see what that looks like. Yeah, that might be a bit obvious. Anyway, I have two videos, but they aren't really complete until I have a thumbnail. And as you may expect, the two different styled episodes also get two different styled thumbnails. The new school video is gonna focus on the wow factor of spawning in the middle of the ocean, while the old school is just gonna get a screenshot of the house. Classic. And lastly, there's just one more piece to complete before the real experiment, the channels. And I wanted these to have as little influence as possible. I wanted this experiment to just be about the videos only. And I don't think anyone ever doesn't click on a video because of a channel name or profile picture, right? So I made two that were just as vanilla as possible. And once I had them, I uploaded my videos, scheduled a time for them to release, and waited for the experiment to begin. Everybody knows a good experiment needs a hypothesis, and I have a hypothesis, and it's pretty much my hope for Minecraft YouTube in general. My hypothesis is that both videos are going to perform relatively equally, implying that there are audiences for both types of content. But still, I don't expect either of these videos to get that many views, because first videos rarely ever get any views. So 2 o'clock the next day finally came around. At the same time as scheduled, my videos released, and nothing happened. For two days, my videos sat quietly, seen by very few people on the platform. However, the old school episode was actually outperforming the new school episode. I had 11 views and gained one subscriber, obviously better than the five views and zero subscribers on the new school episode. But these were such small samples that the results weren't really indicating anything, and I was a bit worried about it. Like, I think the normal thing to do when you release a video is promote it. You tell your friends, post it on Twitter, but do not post it in a Twitch chat. You'll probably get banned for doing that. But since I was undercover, I couldn't really do any of these things. So I waited. All right, so it's day five, and these results are looking a bit different now. On my old school channel, I'm up to 67 views and have gained three subscribers, which is actually better than I was expecting. My first episode on my main channel sat at like 30 views for the first six months. But the new style video has far surpassed that. Over a thousand views and 50 subscribers. I don't know what to say other than my hypothesis was wrong. Now before we all just assume that old school content is dead based on these results, we have to consider a few things. One, Minecraft content is based on stories. And in my new style episode, the script was made to have a clear point A and point B and show the process of getting between them smoothly. While the old school episode did not lay out a plan or a path at all. It all just kind of happened and people had to click on the video not knowing where it was actually heading. And YouTube would just have to guess who to show it to only based on the fact that my description had Minecraft in it. So it was harder for that one to gain exposure. Two, there maybe is an issue with the thumbnails that I set. The new style video showing the crazy spawn that I had shows that it's a video unlike any other, while the old school thumbnail shows that I'm just another one of the many making a house for a video. So trying to do something different from everyone else would probably have given this more views as well. So I think I may have broken this experiment a little bit. It doesn't really show that editing makes a huge difference, but it does show that story makes a huge difference, and that there are still people who do like old school episodes. If I maybe made an intro and clearly indicated what I was doing in the video, YouTube might have shown it to more people and the results would be closer together. But in an attempt to give a better indication of where old school content stands, I asked you guys what kind of Let's Plays you prefer, and the overwhelming majority said they preferred the old school style. So that audience does exist. Old school isn't dead. And if you're interested in making these types of videos, or at least starting out with them, you should go for it. Whoa, 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 hang, hang on a second. I had originally written a different conclusion in this video, but I decided to scrap it because the truth is, there really isn't one yet. I wanted to end this thing off by saying, look, see, there's people to view both types of videos. 
which is true, but the numbers still just reaffirm what many creators already assume, that only the high production value videos will achieve extreme success, which I still don't buy. To me, what this suggests is that I still have more trials to run, because I think there is a way to effectively tell a story without requiring the special effects. And if you want to get into making Let's Plays, that's probably the one thing you need to think about when you start. What do you want your story to be, and how are you going to tell it? I'm personally going to continue exploring the old school Let's Plays throughout the year. I, I think I'll probably do it on a second channel, but if I make any discoveries, maybe I'll make a follow-up to this video. But anyway, regardless of whether you think old school Let's Plays are dead or not, don't let your video making experience hold you back from starting your own series, because you'd be passing up a great opportunity to learn. I started out just by uploading cut gameplay on this channel, and since then, I've just been trying to improve upon that. If you want some motivation, go check out my first hardcore episode, but keep in mind, it's not family friendly. It was a long time ago. And I've also linked the two videos I used for this experiment in the description, if you want to see how they both compare. Or I guess it'd be like seeing the starting point and the finished product. For now though, thanks for watching, and I hope to have more on this soon. I'll see you in the next one.